So I humbly ask the entire delegation tonight to please not endorse. Uh, Mr. Trujillo is on video, on public record, challenging uh, constituents to a fight in downtown Downey. That's on video. He's used ADA gestures and mental health as methods of insulting members of the public. He's been written up multiple times for violations of the Brown Act. He's even been served with cease and desist. He used to be special advisor to George Gaston until the in the news it came out that he did a backdoor deal where he tried giving a gang member who committed murder, he tried giving that gang member for murder seven years. Uh, Elizabeth Alcantar, who is giving some of her time tonight, abstained from that vote because even she doesn't believe in him. And uh, just so you know, that if you don't endorse him tonight, that's a safe seat. That's still, he's running against other Democrats. So not endorsing them, that seat is still blue. So please vote to unendorse. Watch the video, please. Thank you. Thank you, Joey. All right. Our next speaker in favor is Evelyn Nuno. Evelyn, there we are. Evelyn, you're, let me get, get you, uh, make sure you are unmuted. If you unmute yourself, Evelyn, there you go. You have one minute and we'll start timing and you start talking. Thank you. Good evening, members. Although I am not a resident, I was born in Downing and have family in the city. As chair of 8064, it is my top priority and the priority of this body to protect Democratic communities. In my district, Downing is at risk of becoming Republican majority and is the strongest voting bloc, which can have consequences for all higher offices. Mayor Trujillo is a strong voice for labor. He works to create a safer community, better quality of life, and an inclusive city for everyone. I personally attended the city council meeting where he apologized and I believe he can do better. So to his endorsements like Congressman Robert Garcia, Supervisor Janice Hahn, Assemblymember Blanca Pacheco and Victory Fund, to name a few. Mayor Trujillo showed grace and patience during his interview, all while his opponent and Juan Martinez, who is an alternate in our committee, were protesting outside of his home. And his opponent did not apply for the endorsement. He has gone through this process in 2022 and I, he was not endorsed. I strongly urge to support Mayor Trujillo, the only candidate that applied for this endorsement. Thank you, Evelyn. Next up, we have Katie Chan. Katie is speaking in opposition, our next speaker in opposition. Where's Katie? Hi, yes. Um, I would like to yield my time to Joaquin Beltran. Joaquin Beltran. Please raise your hand, do something so we can find you. Hello, can you hear me? Yep, hold on one second. You got 58 seconds. We'll start timing and you start talking. Cool. Thank you. Uh, my name is Joaquin Beltran and um, Tonight, I'm very humbled uh, to be uh, speaking in opposition of the endorsement of uh, Mario Trujillo. Um, I am running for District 5 in the city of Downey, lifelong Democrat, worked on Obama's campaign, on Biden-Harris campaign uh, in 2020. Um, the reason I did not apply is that my dad um, was having health issues and I had to delay my flight to the DNC um, because I knew I needed to take him to the hospital. It turned out he had sepsis. And so his life was saved. Um, I am, um, I am here because, uh, our future is on the line. I've been calling for a ceasefire. Mario Trujillo has rejected these calls. He has, he is against run control. He is against the people. I have a track record of helping and service. That's what I'm here for. Thank you. Yeah. All right, moving on to our last speaker in favor of the committee's recommendation, Elizabeth Alcantar. Elizabeth, I'm going to unmute you here. Or uh, there you go, Elizabeth. Uh, are we good? Ceding my time to Mario Trujillo. All right, where is Mario? Mario, please raise your hand so we can find you really fast. There you go, Mario. All right, Mario, you got 58 seconds. Um, we'll start timing when you start talking. Hello, Democrats. Thank you for the opportunity to defend myself from a campaign of disinformation by a former political opponent, that's Joey Martinez, who had the gall to protest in front of my house with a 
several others with bullhorns while I was interviewing for this recommendation that I'm asking this body to uphold, a recommendation that I am grateful for as I'm a lifelong Democrat that has been fighting for folks uh, to try to get them a living wage. I am the labor candidate in this race. I too was at the DNC uh, having to take flight, but I took the time to apply for this endorsement, which is very important to me. Please uh, stand with me along with Congressman Robert Garcia, Congresswoman Linda Sanchez, Supervisor Janice Hahn, former Assemblywoman Blanca Pacheco, my state senator Bob Archuleta has also endorsed me, four former mayors, I am endorsed by Layuna, by SEIU, by Carpenters, by IBW. I hope my, the work I've done uh, stands for itself. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Our last speaker in opposition, I have Martha Pacheco Salma. Martha Camacho Salma. I'm sorry. Martha, if you could raise your hand or something so we can find you. Oh, I got you, Martha. Coming to you, going to ask you to unmute yourself. All right. And um, I yield my time to Selma Dwyck. Perfect. Thank you. Hold on one sec, Selma. All right. Selma, I just want to say thank you for raising your hand. We found you really fast. All right. <laughs> All right you got 58 seconds. We'll start timing. You start talking. All right. Thank you. Um, hello, Democrats, and good evening. My name is Selma Dweck, and I am here to vocalize my opposition to the endorsement of Mayor Trujillo, and I ask you to please uh, to not endorse him. I am a constituent and resident of Downey. I have uh, grown up in Downey and went through the school systems of Downey, uh, and I think I offer an important perspective since I am personally under his jurisdiction and know him to be an emotionally abrasive and volatile person. He has repeatedly acted unprofessionally during council city meetings and has time and time again let his temper get the best of him, even going as far as lashing out at his residents to belittle and demean them, including myself. Um, if the Democratic Committee of Los Angeles considers themselves to be an entity that is just, fair, and considerate, then Mayor Mario Trujillo is not in line with those values, and you should therefore not endorse him. Thank you. Thank you. 